subscribe my channel and do like share comment and do everything so this is the first class so let us start with first lesson okay so what is the lesson name cell its structure and functions cell its structure and functions i have seen one whatsapp message <laughs> it is very funny and you might have seen that okay what actually the message is our biologist sir tells us cell means it is a part of body our body is made up of cell when we go to physics or physics class so he will tell cell means battery battery cell if you go to social then social sir tells that cell means it is a like jail lock up lock up and if you go to computer lab if i ask the computer sir he will tell that cell means mobile what this sir what is the actual meaning of cell a 
a single unit that is called as cell. So before going to start this topic, so we need to learn little discovery also. Is it done? So let us start. And we don't forget that who discovered the microscope also. Because the discovery of cell is closely associated with the discovery of microscope. Do you know who discovered simple microscope for the first time? No doubt. Okay. Simple microscope was discovered by a famous scientist. Okay. His name is Galileo. Okay. In 1610. So Galileo discovered simple microscope. So by using that simple microscope, it was possible to observe different types of things, different types of particles. Then, so during this course of observation, they discovered different types of cells. So after Galileo, after simple microscope, compound microscope, okay, compound microscope was discovered by Cell nothing but it is a little complex. 
appointment whether it is present in the living body whether it is a present in the jay or whether it is present in the battery that is doesn't matter it is a little, little compartment okay it is a little compartment only what he discovered so everything is published in the form of a famous book the book name is micrographia very very important point here micrographia the book micrographia written by robert hook okay and also for the discovery of this cell robert hook is regarded as father of cytology then what is mean by cytology robert hook is regarded as a father of cytology what is mean by cytology the branch of science which deals with cell its structure and functions is known as cytology what they both are different no nothing is different cytology kytos the word derived from a greek language kytos means cell so the branch of science which deals with the structure and functions of the cell is known as cytology whereas cell biology it is also study of cell as a structural functional unit of living organisms not only structure and function its fundamental role its reproduction how different cells are present how different cell organelles are present what is the role of different cell organelles how cell involves in reproduction so everything comes under cell biology cytology means only study of cell its structure function cell biology means study of cell as a structural functional unit of living organisms and its reproduction the term the term cytology is given by robert hook and the term cell biology is given by g e peladay come to one more scientist okay right anthony van leeuwenhoek okay what the cell discovered by robert hook so that are not living cells that are dead cells okay but for the first time living cells was discovered by antony van leeuwenhoek he observed different types of water samples and he found the small living creatures in a drop of water in a drop of pond water so it is a drop of pond water in drop of pond water he found small moving creatures and he named as animal cues okay animal cues thereafter these was renamed as bacteria okay so these bacteria are first living cells so it was done in the year 1674 
compartment which is present inside the cell. So he also explained about the role of this nucleus. Hence, the discovery of nucleus credit goes to Robert Brown. Come to one more scientist, Purkinji. In the 1839, he used one term that is protoplasm. Okay, the term protoplasm was given by Purkinji. Protoplasm is the fluid content of the cell. Inside the cell, what it is present? Cytoplasm. Earlier it was called as protoplasm. So the term protoplasm for the fluid content of the cell is given by Purkinji in animal cells. So same term in plant cells was given by one mole. Okay. Clear and time of fibers. Clear and time of 
fibers are the largest cells. Whereas in animals, human now cell, okay, now cell is the largest cell. Come to largest single compartment in the cell. Nucleus. Largest single compartment in the cell is Nucleus is not considered as a cell organelle. You have to remember, it is not considered as a cell organelle. It is the largest compartment, single compartment in the cell. Okay, that is nucleus. Both plant cell and animal cell. Next, largest cell organelle in plant and animals. Cell organelle means there are small membrane-bound structures inside the cell are called cell organelles. So largest cell organelle in plants is vacuole and largest cell organelle in animal is mitochondria. Okay. So this is about so diversity of cell in size. So they may vary from 0.1 micrometer to 100 centimeters. Okay. Let us discuss about shape of the cell. Okay. Cells also show great diversity in their shape. Okay. Let us see first one. Flower shape. Squamous epithelium cells. It is a type of epithelium which is present in the inner lining of the buccal cavity. Every organ. Okay. Lining of every organ contain epithelium. So details of this epithelium we will learn in third lesson. So flat cells. Come to